Hi guys! In today's video, we'll be making this cute doll school uniform. I went for the slightly casual look by making a sweater instead of a shirt, but if you want to make a shirt instead, that's obviously up to you. So, in this video, I'll show you how to make this sweater, skirt, and knee high socks. Let's get started. Starting with the sweater, you're gonna measure from the shoulder down to where you want the sweater to end. Then you're going to measure the front of the doll, going from underneath the armpits over the chest. Then you're going to measure the front side of the hips as well, and you're going to take the bigger of these two measurements. Use this front and width measurement to create a square, then fold it in half. Measure the width of the neck, you only have to measure one side, Use this measurement to draw on the neckline on our pattern. Now measure from the neck to where you want the shoulder seam to be and draw this onto the pattern in an angle. Measure from the shoulder seam and down up under the armpit. Draw this onto the pattern in a hook-like shape. Once you've drawn that on, you can finish the square, and then you can fold the paper again and cut out the pattern. For the sleeves, measure from the shoulder seam down to the wrist. Measure the circumference of the upper arm, and then use these two measurements to create a rectangle. Measure from underneath the armpit to the wrist. Mark this off on the rectangle and connect them with a line like this. Cut it out, and here's our sleeve pattern. I couldn't find any knit fabric that was thin enough at the fabric store, so I bought a big pair of socks. I take my folded sweater pattern and place it on the fold of the sock, pin it in place and then cut it out, leaving a bit of seam allowance around it. Unfold it and that's the piece for the front of our sweater. For the back, I used the same pattern, I just raised the back neckline. Also cut out two sleeve pieces. Place the sweater front and back together, right sides together and sew them together at the shoulders, using a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. Then you want to take one of your sleeve pieces, place it right sides together like so and pin it together. Once this is all pinned, sew together. Sew on the other sleeve the same way. Once the sleeves are attached, you want to fold the sweater right sides together again and then sew down the sleeves and the sides. Now we can turn the sweater right sides out and try it on a doll. This pattern makes a pretty loose oversized sweater, which is a good place to start. Now I'm just going to pinch the sides and guesstimate how much I want to take it in. And then I'm just going to sew in the sides a little further in. I thought this was a cute fit, so now we can add the final details. For the bottom trim, I decided to use this cute scalloped edge that was on the original sock. So I'll be putting them right sides together like this, stretching them out and then sewing on the round. Fold it down and now you should have a nice looking edge. We're gonna finish the cuffs and also the neck hole in a similar way by taking small pieces of the sock that was already folded by the edge, sew them together in small loops and then sew them onto the neck and armholes the same way we did the bottom. Now 
and here we are, now it's all nice and finished. And here's how it looks on our doll. I think it turned out really cute. Now let's move on to the skirt. Measure out the waist of the doll and also how long you want the skirt to be. I wanted pleats in my skirt and I figured out each pleat would take about 2 centimeters, and I wanted 11 of them, therefore I added 22 centimeters to the waist measurement. The pattern is going to be a very long rectangle where the length is the waist plus the pleats and the width is how long you want the skirt to be. Make another rectangle for the waistband in the length that is the waist of the doll and the width is just a few centimeters so we can fold it over. Now you can pick out your fabric, attach your pattern pieces and cut them out with a seam allowance. Be sure to add a bit extra at the ends of the skirt pattern because we need this to close the skirt. Fold up the bottom edge of the skirt and sew it in place for a nice hem. I'm doing this now while the piece is still flat. With the wrong side of the fabric facing up, you want to start placing in your pleats. I measured out 2 cm, folded it together like this, pinned it, and then added a 1 cm gap between the next. Once you have all your pleats evenly placed, it should look like this. Now I can sew down the top line to secure them. I also chose to sew a line down side each pleat to keep them flat, but this is optional so you can skip it. Now you're gonna cut out the waistband, again leaving extra around the sides. Fold the waistband so it's right sides out and iron it flat. Then you want to place it right sides together with the skirt with the fold facing down and pin it all the way around. Once you have it all pinned, sew it in place. Cut away the excess at the seam and you should have something like this. Now we're gonna work on the clothing. You're gonna hem both ends, but one of them you're gonna hem a little further away from the actual pattern using the sewing allowance. Then you wanna pin the shorter side onto the longer side on the top with the right side facing out. Pin it until you can still get it on the door like this and then sew down the bottom line. Then you want to overlap the pieces at the top and place a little mark both on the top and bottom so we can place a button. I found these cute tiny buttons on eBay simply by searching doll buttons. Sew the button onto the mark of the bottom piece. Then cut a slit in the top piece over the button big enough for the button to come through. To make the buttonhole nice and neat, make little parallel stitches all around the buttonhole. And here we are, that's the skirt done. Finally, we're gonna make a simple pair of knee-high socks. 
Start by measuring from the tip of the toe all the way up to where you want the socks to end. Add an extra centimeter to this length before measuring around the leg where you want the sock to stop and around the leg down at the ankle. Use these measurements to make a tapered square like this. Then get out your fabric, I'll be using this stretchy jersey. Cut out your pieces and don't leave seam allowance because the stretch is going to be enough. Fold the right sides together and sew down the line. Fold it so the back seam is at the back and then sew the foot shut. Then you want to get out some elastic. This was the thinnest one I could get at my fabric store. Measure out the piece that fits tightly around the doll's leg and sew it into a loop. Then you want to place this loop over the wrong side of the top of the sock, stretch it out and then sew it along the edge. Then you want to fold the elastic over again so it's sort of hidden by the sock and stretch it out and sew around the edge again. And the sock's finished. Now you want to turn them right sides out and put them on the doll. I accessorized with a pair of doll sneakers since it's the only shoes I've made for my BGD so far. Put it all together and that's our back to school outfit done. I really hope you enjoyed this project. If there's any other doll clothes you'd like to see me make for my BJD, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!